And here we go. How do you say, oh my God, this is something that let us breathe. Yeah. If we have, if we don't have this body organ, we cannot breathe. And yes, lungs very well. We start really fine with this. We go with the next one, but it's too soon to say who takes the lead. So maybe after five questions, we can start watching who takes the lead, right? Okay, this uh, body organ help us to process urine so that we can pee, yeah. And yeah, kidneys. Wow, I think it's gonna be a hard game. And probably <laughs> the winner is gonna be decided by the time. Eh? So this game is about going up and down. So okay, it's, it's getting harder as the time. Oh, this is a body organ that if you drink a lot of alcohol, you can kill this organ. Yeah, it's liver, no. Someone selected bladder. No, that's not possible. Okay. okay. Wow, Julio, he's on fire with a streak of three consecutive right answers. Okay, check this out. Go. Oh, what could it be? You have to tie them so that you don't fall down. Yeah, the shoelaces, of course. You got to tie your shoelaces. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Oh, now she takes the lead. No, guys? In order to get more points is because of the speed of your answer, yes? So don't stay there thinking a lot. Yes, just do it. Oh, this is for ladies. Yeah, you carry <laughs> you carry oh, lots of you. stuff. Yeah, purse, of course. Okay. Let me see. Now we can, oh, here it comes the fun for double points. This is the moment when the ones who don't know, they start to get behind. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> no. <Okay>, Middens. <laughs> okay. Look at this. I'm going to tell you what's the difference. Globes are for every finger, but middens are only for uh, the first four fingers are together and uh, and the thumb goes uh, separated. So oh. who takes the lead? Eh. Oh, you were <laughs> the only one who got it right. Oh. Wow, you took an advantage of 2,000 points. Cool. Let's go to mm -hmm. the next one. How do you say this word? Oh, it's a beautiful stone, no? Do you say diamond? Yeah, it's an emerald. Very good. It's a green color. And we got the next one. Oh, for double points. This is gonna uh, get be. You're gonna get behind. Or oh, how do you say this fruit? Personally, I don't like it. Guys. It's too sweet for me. But probably you do. <laughs> gonna be a big all right someone selected hazelnut no it's a big big and oh then you didn't score you're getting behind oh my god we go to the next one how do you say this fruit which is really good for you to accelerate your digestion process <laughs> oh yeah i didn't know yeah there are some yogurts made of plum that's true. Even now, too. No? Oh, my God. I believe Got it was it right. a peach. No, it's oh. a plum because peaches are orange outside and this one was red. No? Okay. So, go to the next one. We are still about fruits. How do you call? Oh, this fruit is like good for a diet or if you want to turn it to a soda. Yeah. You can maybe drink it with some tequila. Yeah. No. Great fruit. Oh, Not my yet. God. <laughs> no one got it right. I knew yeah. it. You were going to have it wrong. It's a <laughs> grapefruit. Grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, no I points for no one. Okay. Next. That's why it's for special words. Double points. If you're behind, this is your chance. Oh, mm. man. How do you say this fruit? In Spanish, we call it guanabana, but how could it be in English? I don't have any. any no? Oh, no one got it right. It's a sour sap. Personally, oh, okay. I don't like it. I don't like this fruit, but okay. I don't know either. <laughs> Do no? I don't like it either. Okay, yeah, me neither. It's ah, disgusting. Okay, another for double points. Oh, this is the fruit from the desert. In the top of the palm trees, you can find it. Yeah, date in Spanish is datil. Uh, yeah, look at the face of Dana, the face of I don't know this fruit. No? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's too sweet. Maybe you're not going to like it then. Okay, next one. Okay, let's see. Double points for the next one. 
How do you say these fruits? Oh, well, is that a fruit? Now we start with vegetables. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, no, guys, it's a beet. In Spanish, it's betabel. <laughs> wow. I don't like it. What is radish? It. Radish? I cannot tell you, Julio, because in a moment you will see it. Ah, Sorry, okay. man. Okay. You will find out in a moment. But the only thing I can tell you that radish has to do with pozole. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. How do you say this? Ah, well. <laughs> well. Oh my God! You answer in three seconds. It's a radish. Okay. Well, let's go to the next. This is not over, guys, because we are in the middle, and most of them count for double. I think we are over with vegetables. No, this is the last one. If your mind is a little pervert, yes, you <laughs> might start thinking about something else, right? Okay, it's an eggplant. Okay, we go to the next one. Mm, this one gives you double points. So how do you say this? I think if vegetables are, oh no, for making bread, we need it for making bread. Yeah, it's wheat. Yes, in Spanish is trigo. Well, let's go to the next one. Oh, that now you haven't scored in a long time. Okay, and it's getting no, harder. No. Yeah, let's go. Ah, this is easy, Dana. Don't tell me you have it wrong, Dana. No, no, no right? It was Julio. Right. Right me. Yeah, okay, it's a muffin. Yeah, okay. Because cupcakes, they got cream, and muffins, they don't. Yeah, ah, okay. that's the difference. Okay, how do you say this? Oh, it's really nice for this season. Uh, it's a popsicle, very good. Mm. Okay, we got the next word. I think we are going to start with tools, guys. Wow, <laughs> that's that's gonna be for experts or not? Oh yeah, tools. Mm. We got the first tool. Oh, my God, oh, you got it right, everyone. Screwdriver, <laughs> nice, unbelievable. Next. Okay, this is getting harder. It's another tool. So I hope you know it. Okay, for cutting down trees. For cutting wood. Oh my God, someone had it wrong. It's a, oh, it was you, Dana. So oh, sorry, next one. It's another tool. Tools count double points because they are complicated. Yeah. How do you say this? One, wrench. Very nice. Who had it wrong? Oh, hey. you don't know about tools, sorry. That's terrible. Next one. Okay, let's go on to the next. For double points, this is harder, guys. But if you know, well, there are different kinds of them. Yeah, some of them are more sharp, close, open. Ah, pliers because of the plural. Very nice. You are pretty observative. <laughs> That's cool. Very nice. I did it on purpose to see if you were observative or not. Next one. Uh, how do you, oh, flowers. Oh, tulips, okay. I think with the next one, you might not guess it because it's hard. This is for professionals, next one. If I could put triple points, I, I would do it, but I can't, so. Ah, uh, this is Christmas flower. You know what is it? One. Ah, oh, two people got it right. Poinsettia, poinsettia <laughs> flower. Yeah, exactly. Or what were you thinking? It's the the good night flower? No, it's poinsettia, guy. Okay. Good night flower. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's the poinsettia. Oh, I mentioned uh, this a moment ago when we were talking about the meteorologist scale. Oh. Uh, no one pay attention. I guess Dana is the only one scale. who got it right, or not? Ah, uh, yeah, because she said it for the neurologist, exactly, the scale. I knew it, I knew it. Okay, how do you say this thing? Oh, Sherlock Holmes used it. <laughs> uh, magnifying glass. Well, the first and the second place are not decided yet because it's just like a thousand and something points. Let me see, do you say the next one? Ooh. This is not so complicated, right? Yeah, the transmission towers. Yeah, we got plenty of them in Mexico. Next one. And here it comes, number 28 for double points. 
How do you say this? It's a uh, oh. You say this person who makes suits a tailor. Not. No, because fashionista is a person who dress like very trendy clothes and stuff mm. like that. It's a tailor. Tailor. Oh, Dana. Yeah, I know it. You were going to have it right. Yes. <laughs> okay, because she's younger than you guys. Okay, next one. Okay. Oh, I mentioned it some moments ago. Brick layer, of course. And... I think we are missing the last one and it's over. Question 30, and it counts for double. How do you say this person who, who oh, who works at the bank, but behind the window, eh? behind the window. Watch out. Just a person got it right. I know it's not a cashier, no, oh. not a cashier. Cashier is the only one for the supermarket or a, pharmacy or something like that and behind the window in a bank it's a teller so oh let's check the podium it was the third place for dana we knew it since the beginning yeah i'll yeah. cry for this and the second is for julio and lori wins congratulations yeah. on the first yeah. okay really cool congratulations okay yes. we had a nice game everyone so Let's continue, right? For the last part of the class, we got some conversation. Yeah, celebrations. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, let's go to this. We're going to have some random questions, right? Okay, this so that we can get to know a little bit more, right? So let me see. Since Lorena was the winner, she's going to ask some questions for these guys, okay? What number is going to be? Number 11. Okay. Okay. For who is this question for? Uh, Julio. What city, Julio, is more dangerous for you? Tijuana or Ciudad Juarez? Uh, I believe I don't know any of these cities. <laughs> but what have I, you heard? I, I believe there is more uh, bad, bad news or insecurity in Ciudad Juarez for, for the news. Yeah, yeah. What do you say, Dana? What city is more dangerous for you? I don't know. I don't know neither, but I think it's to that part. Is. <laughs> yeah, probably, yes. Or what do you say, Lore? Do you agree that it's to that part? Is yes, because dangerous? Tijuana is more like the party city and it has to be some kind of uh, police care. <laughs> police care. And I think it's the. This has to be Ciudad Juarez. Yeah. The the dead girls in Juarez. Yes, unfortunately. Uh, yes, unfortunately, I guess this is the more the, the more dangerous city. Okay, okay. Go on for another question, Lara. Mm, number five. Okay. Who's the question for? For Dana. What's your What's mother's your name? Mother's name. My mother's name is Irma. Oh, Irma, nice name. Yes. And your <laughs> mother's name, Lore? Uh, Francisca. Okay. Can we call her Panchita? No. No, Francis. Um, ah, okay. I like it more, Francis. Okay. And, and she, your... she does also. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And your mother's name, Julia? She's like a beer. <laughs> like a bird? Beer, beer. Beer? Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> Victoria. No. No, uh, Chela. Uh... Yeah, exactly, Chela. Ah, okay. Graciela. Graciela. Okay, <laughs> okay. I was thinking Victoria is a beer. I'm an expert in that. <laughs> no, no, I don't drink, guys. I don't, I don't drink. No. Oh. Okay, Lori, what goes next? Uh, I keep asking. Yeah. Uh, number three. Three, okay. Ooh. Or who is this uh, question for? Uh, let me see. I can see because I have this. Um, well, uh, wait a minute. Okay. How do you feel when you can understand something in English for Julio? How I feel? Well, uh, depends on the moment, but uh, you know, uh, if I, I am in a conversation with a foreign here in in Mexico, maybe I, I lose the, the, the context of the of the 
of the conversation or sometimes I don't feel so lost because about all the context I try to understand the, the word but of course I, I lose sometimes in the yeah. conversation. How do you feel Dana when you cannot understand something in English? I feel desperated. Um, yeah, desperate. Uh -huh. Desperate. Yeah. Um, distressed. <laughs> distressed. Okay, okay. Okay, Dana, now it's your turn for your questions. Come on. Uh, number eight. Eight. Let's go. Come on. Oh. And uh, it's, it's Lore. Yeah. Lore. Yeah, yeah. Lore. Lore. How, what, did, uh, what did you do on Saturday? On Saturday, I... Oh my God, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, what this. happened? <laughs> no, keep on I describing. Was, I had a rehearsal here in home with my brother and my sister-in-law because I play the guitar and my brother plays the, ba the bass. Oh, okay. And, and my sister-in-law plays the... Ah, uh, the I uh, these things in English, that, in English, in English. Describe it if yes, you don't yes. know how to say it. Mm. I forgot the word. This thing that Liam Gallagher plays, that ch -ch 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 -ch. The electric <laughs> guitar. No, no, no. The tambourine. The tambourine. The tambourine. Okay. So we had this little trio. So we had that, this little rehearsal here in home on Saturday. On Saturday. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. And what goes next, Anna? Number two. Number two. Okay. Mm. What can you really what can you do really well, Julio? What can I do really well? Yeah, that you consider yourself an expert on this. Mm. Well, uh, I work in a, a technology company, so maybe I believe I I do uh, the the architecture for a network in a, for a company or a customer uh, very very well. Of course, of course. Okay, Dana, what goes next? Mm, number four. Four. Okay. What do you have to do at home, Dori? Mm -hmm. Well, I uh, I work at home. So I have a lot to uh, I have a lot of videos to do, to edit videos and to read a lot of books about history and arts, and feed my dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Okay, Julio, yes, take Anna. your questions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> another question? Yeah, from the numbers. Three questions mm -hmm. for you. Ten. Ten. Okay. Go ahead. Ooh. What are you going to do next vacations? Uh, Who is this question? Yeah, Lana, what are you going to do next vacations? Next vacation? Um, yeah, because next week is Holy Week starts, Lana. What plans? I don't think nothing. <laughs> really? Uh, yes, but I, I have planned something. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I think I'm going to Colombia. In June. But I, I don't know. I it's it's like uh but in June. Uh, in June. Ah okay. but I, I I'm really thinking about it. So okay. I will don't, don't think about it, know. just go, go. Yes. Don't think about it, <laughs> of just go. Course, please. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I, I will let you know soon. <laughs> okay, yes, of course. Who doesn't? Okay, Julia, what question goes next? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Oh. What fruit is more delicious, banana or apple, Lori? Uh, well, I like more uh, apple, but um, there are a lot of people that may think that it is banana, but I prefer apples. Okay. Well, in my case, I go for, for apple. Are you then? I go with banana. Okay, and you, Julio? It's you more easy to eat. I don't know. Okay, it's easier to eat. What do you say, Julio? Me too, the banana is, is ah, more sweet. It's more, are... sweet than the, more sweet than the apple. Okay, two and two. Okay, Julio, go on for your last question. One. Okay. Oh. 
what's your hair like? Mm -hmm. To describe uh, it. No, no. What's your hair like? It's. It's well, my natural hair. It's a little curly. It's a wavy. Oh yeah, uh, because I remember your natural hair is not like the one you are having now, right? No. You used to be curly. I, uh huh. It's curly, but I straight my hair today. Yeah. Okay. It looks nice. It looks nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here are my questions. Okay, Lore, what should I do if I got flu? What should you do? Mm -hmm. If I got flu. Well, you have to uh, be at, at your home. You have to uh, wear this mask. Uh, course, you have to go to, to the doctor, I think, or okay. maybe be in your bed, taking a lot of uh, teas, uh, chicken soap. Okay, okay, perfect. <laughs> taking okay. A, a paracetamol. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Um, uh, okay, let me see. Dana, what is your best friend doing now? I don't know, teacher. She's probably doing homework. She's wow. always doing homework. Wow, what a <laughs> responsible person. Yes. Okay, Julio, oh, how many bedrooms are there in your house, Julio? <laughs> two, two bedrooms. Okay, okay, guys. Well, we finished with these questions. For the next, we have more professions to check, more questions to answer. And that was all for today. So good night, guys. Have an excellent.